Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Cowick, the MMOGames.com, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Heroes of the Storm. This is a game by Blizzard Entertainment that is moving into closed beta on the 13th of January 2015. And with that said, I figured now's a good time to kind of give you a brief rundown of what this game is all about, what you can expect from it, and why you should be excited. Heroes of the Storm is a MOBA with a twist. It is very, very team-based and very reliant on objectives being completed on the various maps that are available with this game. It draws inspiration with its 32 heroes, all taken from the other games in Blizzard Entertainment's franchises, such as World of Warcraft, Diablo, and Starcraft. There are five different maps at the moment with more being worked on, and indeed, there are more heroes to come as well. Every hero has several skins including a master skin you can unlock once you have fully leveled that hero and it is a really competitive 5v5 that is already seeing quite the flourishing esports scene with many many community run tournaments as well as the official tournament that was run at blizzcon 2014 back in november as mentioned before it is very team based it is not possible for one person to be able to carry their team everyone must pull their weight and each map has various objectives that need to be completed in order to progress as you play through each match which by the way is designed to last anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes depending on the map you have maps like the Haunted Mines in which you get to go down to a second map to collect skulls to build a golem that will then attack your enemy's base. The more skulls you collect, the bigger the golem and so on and so forth. You also have individual mercenary camps that you can defeat to capture in order to get them to attack your enemies as well and to put pressure onto your enemy team. The Cursed Hollow is a map where your team needs to collect three cursed tributes in order to curse the enemy team. This makes it so that the enemy's forts and towers cannot fire upon you and the minions that are coming out from that base will all only have just one hit point, one health. So each map is very very different to the next with different objectives that again are very very important in order to claim a victory. There is a leveling system in this game your account itself can level up to level 40 and your heroes that you play will individually level up to a maximum of 10 at which point you will then unlock special things such as the master skin you can also unlock skin tints there is a shop in which you can purchase skins for all these different heroes and the skins are absolutely beautiful a lot of work being put into these and indeed the characters themselves they are all very very different they have lots of different abilities now throughout a heroes of the storm match you will level your individual characters as a team so one player cannot level above another one your team will level as you claim xp from killing minions coming out from the enemy base you will get experience from destroying their buildings and forts and indeed from killing the other players in order to make it so that you cannot snowball to a win and to give the uh, the other team a chance if they have fallen behind in levels the further they fall behind the more xp gain they will get in order to give them a chance to catch up and i have seen this where one team has completely dominated the other team for some time and yet the enemy team has managed to come back and claim a victory so it's never a, a thing where you're stuck in a game stuck in a heroes of storm match and you think this is going to be a loss because anything absolutely anything can happen it's a very very exciting game quite thrilling and it's something that you don't have to commit too much time to either because the matches are kept deliberately short so no more hour-long matches like have been seen in dota or league of legends there's no last hitting so you're not competing against your teammates for XP which of course is designed deliberately to try and encourage and foster a much more friendlier MOBA environment which is something we don't get to see very often. As I mentioned before, this has been in technical alpha for quite some time and it is a really big deal that it is finally moving into closed beta in January. There's going to be a lot of players invited to play this game. If you have not opted in and you want to try out this game, then you absolutely must visit battle.net. Make sure you log in, go to your beta settings and put a tick in the box next to Heroes of the Storm. Well, that's it for this video. I hope that this has helped explain what Heroes of the Storm is all about and why you should be excited for this 
game if you're into MOBAs, or even if you've never tried it. Maybe it's a genre that you've been looking to get it into, but have been a little bit put off by the toxicity of some of the communities in other similar games. This is absolutely one you're going to want to check out. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Kalrick. I'll see you next time.